Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how dermoid and epidermoid is in the brain imaging. So, dermoid and epidermoid is an intracranial inclusion containing ectodermal tissue. So dermoid contain score plus epithelium and associated dermoid appendage. Epidermoid consists of squamous epithelium. Most common sign and symptom dermoid useful for a seizure. If you did a rupture, it will cause acute severe headache, color, cause chemical meningitis up to 6.9%. Epidermoid also cause headache, cranial neuropathy, chemical meningitis is rare. Other signs symptoms, hypo, Parietalism, diabetes, insipidus, visual symptom, spinal lesion associated with symptom of cold tethering. In the imaging, dermoid fat mass with layer, subtation, non contrast enhanced fat density may mimic gas. Calcium deposit in 20%. Ampon, striated, layer, apparent, non enhancing. T1, ISO, hyper and 10, to brain, incomplete fat suppression. T2, heterogeneous signal. Epidermal, non enhancing, T2, hyper and 10, mass. Non contrast of NCT. ISO to slightly hyper than to CSI. I'm now very famous revelation on 3D SSLP image. T1, ISO hyper intent to CSI by T1. T2, ISO intent to CSI but no flare suppression. DWI, market shoes restriction. This is the T2 MR in a seven years old child. So, um, epidermosis in the left cerebral, cerebral pointing angle. The T2 signal is essentially ISO intent to CSF without the associated mass effect on the brainstem and cerebral. This reason would not be visible on this symptom. This is non enhanced CT in a, on the image on the left of a 14 years old. So a very low density mass in the right cerebral tissue. And on the right is a T2 amount, so the mass to be CSF ISO intense with many dark striation DWI, not true, sure. demonstrative shoes restriction. Automatically confirm when the moistness. Axial non contrast enhanced CT, so an epidermoid in the left cerebral tissue. Now, note the mildly heterogeneous attenuation of the lesion compared to CSF in the ventricle. The lesion margin are also more irregular than an arachnoid cyst. 
non contrast in him CG in a nine years old, so a fatty tumor at the base of the right frontal lobe with subtle but heterogeneous internal attenuation, which would be a typical for a life form. Different shape with their voices. Midline sagittal G2 um, are in the nine years old girl with a frontal nasal hyperintense mass. So extension of the mass through the foramen sequum into the nasal sinus, right? Frontal nasal sinus tracts uh, may have epidermoid and or dermoid complex. Treatment Complete microsurgical incision. Residual capsule may need to be correct. Subarachnoid dissemination of content may occur. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.